Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Whiskify TV. Tonight, I have in front of me two bottles of Chevis Regal. Um, I know I know we don't play on the Scotch side, but here we are. So I had to get like a American style and then like a, a Scottish style as well. So as you can see, on my left, your right, I have a bottle of Chevis Regal Extra, which is uh, a 13 year old Chevis Regal finished in American rye cask um, which I'll, I'll go into that a little bit later but and then on the other side I've got the Chevis Regal uh, 18 which is obviously aged a little bit longer in their standard cask so it's not finished in anything special it's it's pretty standard over there so I'll go through the uh, Chevis Regal Extra first as I open this this thing. This one isn't actually as hard to open as the other ones, and I shouldn't actually smack myself in the face with this one. Uh, so, is that my cold? Yes. Okay. No worries. Thought I'd check that. It's a cool looking lid on that bad boy but unfortunately it is a screw cap which makes me uncomfortable um now so as you can see it's got some cool looking detail to it it's done by an american artist uh it's like a more like a street art kind of feel to it so i'll just do that back up for you that's all right you go. Okay, no dramas. Um, oh, is that going to go flat? So you're going to record? No? Oh, okay, cool. No disregard. Um, so, yeah, it's, as I said earlier, it's a 13 year old scotch, but then it's been finished off in the American Rycast. The reason why they've done that is for to celebrate the 13 years after Prohibition, they developed this flavor and you know how the Americans love their rye whiskies and special stuff like that um, I didn't really talk much about Chevis Regal because these guys came about in the 19th century and then basically have just made themselves to be one of like the world's uh, luxury whiskey brands um, so let me just pour myself a glass of this so let that bad boy aerate a little bit. It's on the lighter side as well, but you know you can't expect too much out of like 13 years. Bit of a sniffy sniff. So I'm not getting too much there. It's bottled at, I think it's bottled at 40%, so 80 proof. There's not much on the bottle, I can tell you either. But, so, just on the nose. It's a little bit florally, um, which is interesting for a, a scotch. It's nothing too heavy. But I'm not getting many of those spicy notes, so... I'm just going to crack in, get... Uh, Oh, my nose is running for some reason. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so... A couple of those spices there. That you get. Like a... Maybe like a cinnamon? I don't know. It's, it's on, but I want to try it anyway, so... So it's more like florally, a bit of chocolate on the tongue, like a, reminds you of like an old gold. Oh God, sorry. Um, yeah, it reminds me of, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's finished off with like this chocolate. 
like heavy chocolate, kind of like. Let's see if anything else I can get. Give them. Mm. You just don't have too long. Yeah, no worries. The mic's draining the battery. Oh, right, gotcha. I didn't even tell you. I got whisker fire glasses too, so they're going to be the ones I'm going to be drinking out of. Uh, I was drinking my water out of. Anyway, you guys probably can't see the logo from that angle. That stuff isn't too bad, though. The uh, Chevis Regal Extra. Um, it's... Uh, you make me so nervous when you keep doing that. I'm just trying to make sure it hasn't stopped. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm not talking for no one. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to crack open this other Chevis Regal, if I can actually get it open. Oh, no, we're going to have another incident. Oh, no. No smacking yourself in the face. No, 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 no. Oh, that came off rather easily. So on for the pocket. Now this one is cork seal. Makes me rather happy. It came out rather easy. It did. Bit of a sniffy sniff on that, but you can tell, like, you notice how deep that amber colour is on that. Um, I haven't said much about this because it's pretty standard. Just an 18 year old scotch. Um, but as I pour it into the glass, you can tell it's marginally darker than what um, the the other one is. Like it's, that's more of like a, a lighter. Is that more of like a yellow? But that's more like a, a deep amber. So. Just get that swirl around, get a bit of a sniffy sniff. Mm, okay, so that's a little bit heavier. What's that? That's still that's still forty percent. Okay. It's funny. I didn't get those American spices you'd expect out of like a, a rye cask. So a little bit disappointed on that, but it's okay. There we go. Now that's something I was expecting out of 18 year old uh, whiskey. It's got a bit of a bite there to it as well. So, um, as for palette wise, I'm not sure. Might give it another crack. So here we go. Uh, more of like a toffee flavour to it. It reminds me of uh, you know, going down the local Woolies and your toffee. It's good though. It's uh, it's not too bad for a 700 ml bottle. Um, so to wrap up this video, uh, you're looking at about 75 bucks for your Chevis Regal Extra. Your 13 year old uh, finished in American Rye. And your Chevis Regal 18 year old, you're looking at $105. So, not too bad. Pretty good on the price point. Um, but the camera's going to die, so that's me. I'm done. Thank you all for watching. Stay thirsty, Australia.